Good Monday morning. Um, y'all go ahead and come in as y'all are coming in. I uh, hope y'all had a great weekend. Go ahead and get your health journals out, read the instructions, go ahead and get that personal health inventory um, glued into the next page in your health journal. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Um, if you haven't read the quote of the day, this is gonna apply to what we are looking at today. It says, I used to be afraid of failing at something that really mattered to me, but now I'm more afraid of succeeding at things that don't matter. I'm gonna read it one more time. I used to be afraid of failing at something that really mattered to me, but now I'm more afraid of succeeding at things that don't matter. I want you to think about that. Think about how that impacts you, how that resonates with you. Okay, get those personal inventory sheets glued in. We're going to um, come back to those as the week goes on and um, kind of talk about them, okay? Here's our, we're gonna talk about the health triangle today. That is our one topic. Um, there's a lot to it, but that's our one, we're honing in on the health triangle, okay? Here's our learning objectives. I can prove my understanding of the health triangle by explaining how an imbalance in one area can affect the other two, okay? And then I can assess my personal health by answering questions on a health inventory, which already answered those questions that assessed your health. So that was kind of an informal type assessment for you to get to know yourself a little bit better, healthy, your health um, history a little bit more, okay? But we're gonna come back to that um, as we talk, all right? So we're really gonna hone in on that health triangle today. All right, everybody on their feet, we are going to do a little activity. This is called the wellness wheel. A statement is going to come up on the board. If you think it's never true, you're going to go all the way to this side of the room. If you think it's always true, you're going to go to that side. And the middle is just kind of somewhere in the middle. So sometimes, usually, and often. Okay, so just kind of go to the area of the room that you think applies to you for the statement. The first one is physical activity is a part of my daily life. Where do you want to go? Where are you going to go? I think most of you are probably on that side there. Yeah, I see most of y'all going over there, all right? Next one, we're gonna go for this one. I feel in control of my life and accept the things I cannot change. Where are you gonna go for this one? We're kind of spreading out. Okay, a little balance, a little more balanced here. Next one is, I manage my time well between work, family, friends, school, and play. You manage, are you a good time manager? Do you manage your time well? Next one. Oh. I am actively involved in different clubs, organizations on campus. Are you actively involved in different clubs and organizations on campus? Most of you are, good. Awesome. Next one. I seek help and support when I need it. This might be an area of growth for us. Where some of us can grow in. I think that's the last one. All right, everyone go ahead and sit down. Here's what we're gonna do next. These are our vocabulary terms for kind of this unit, all right? Um, I want you to discuss at your table. You're gonna have about 30 seconds. Discuss at your table what these vocabulary terms mean, okay? 30 seconds, actually 20 seconds. We'll just do the rest of this timer right here. Just discuss. What are the what are the definitions of these terms? Alexis. Good job, Darren. Good insight. All right. So y'all discussed some of them. Okay. Here's what I need to do. Send up the person with the birthday closest today to get the vocabulary terms to put in your health journal. All right, Mason, thank you. Ariana, thank you. Good go. All right, Cohen, take those back. Um, Alexis, thank you so much. All right, go ahead and get those glued in. As y'all are gluing them in, I'm going to call on some people to go ahead and read the definitions for me, okay? <laughs> Levi, could you tell me what health is? Thank you. Um, Alexis, will you tell me what wellness is? Sometimes we get these confused to think they're the same thing. Will you go ahead and read the definition of wellness? <coughs> Thank you. Brianna, physical health. 
social health. Um, Jaden? Thank you. Mental health, Erin? Sarah, personal responsibility. Thank you. Balance is a steady position that does not fall. It already talked about in our I can statement, finding a balance of that health triangle. We're about to see what asks, what parts are incorporated in the health triangle. And then communication, the imparting or exchanging of information or news, means of sending or receiving information such as by phone or computers or face-to-face. -face. All right, so maybe um, make sure that you have that. We're gonna come back to those terms. Make sure you have that in your uh, journal. We're gonna watch a quick video. Let's talk about the health triangle. The health triangle is a way to measure different aspects of our health. Each side of the triangle represents a category of health that is important for our overall wellness. Let's start with physical health. In order to be physically healthy, we need to be exercising daily, making sure we get our 60 minutes a day. It's important that we also eat a well-balanced diet filled with a variety of fruits and vegetables, drinking plenty of water, while avoiding sugary foods and soft drinks. Staying away from tobacco products like smoking and other drugs that are harmful to our bodies will help keep us healthy. Taking care of our hygiene, such as showering daily and brushing our teeth, is also important. And be sure to get a full eight hours of sleep every night. Let's move on to social health. Social health focuses on our relationships with others. It is important to have strong relationships with family, your peers, and others in your community. Surrounding yourself with caring, supportive relationships increases your happiness, self-esteem, and reduces stress. Our mental health focuses on how we think, feel, and cope with daily life. Being able to deal with different emotions we feel in a calm way and expressing them clearly is important for our emotional health. Finding positive and healthy ways to deal with stress is very valuable to our wellness. It is also important for our mental health to accept who we are. your assessment for the health triangle. Um, so number one, if you think it's number one, these are more statements. If you think it's number one, physical. If you think it's number two, you're gonna call them number two for social, and three is mental, emotional. All right, I eat at least five servings of fruits and vegetables each day. One is physical, two is social, three is mental, emotional. It is one, good job. I wear sunscreen when I'm outside for a long period of time. Social, or sorry, physical, social, mental, emotional. If you're holding up a one, you are right, it is physical. I attend outside community service as a way to serve my community. This is social. Two, I believe that my life has direction and meaning. Good, number three, mental emotional. I have a strong sense of life optimism and use my thoughts, attitudes, in life affirming ways. Good job, Erin. Yes, three, mental emotional. I have at least one or two close friends that I can turn to. One physical, two social, three mental emotional. So this is social, but I think it also applies to mental emotional. I brush my teeth regularly. Everyone say it. Physical, good. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. This is going to be your assessment and you're gonna have the rest of the period to start working on it and it'll be due tomorrow, okay? So here's your health triangle and it's on Canvas, so it's already shared with you. You just need to go and make yours your own, okay? You're all gonna get one of these. And here is your instructions. Okay, so <clears throat> you're gonna either choose family and friends or you're gonna choose a famous person or historical figure, famous person, historical figure. You are going to <clears throat> pick one of these categories, okay? 
and create a health triangle that shows the balance or imbalance. So you can choose one, balance or imbalance of different types of the people, okay, whoever you choose. Defend your triangle designs with data and pictures of why your design represents that person and why it represents a balance or imbalance, okay? So that's why it says showing their imbalance. You can choose balance or imbalance, all right? So I'm gonna give you a few examples and then I'm gonna let y'all get started. So here is, oh, I did not put them on there. So, oh, I don't wanna show them to y'all because then I don't want y'all to um, copy them. But if I go back to this, I will show you the, let's see. Back to, oh, there we go. All right, so let's go back here. So let's say that you choose yourself or your fam a family member, okay? Physical health, emotional health, and social health. You can show, let's just say that there's an imbalance, okay? And they're really great with mental health and they're really great with social health, but their physical health needs help. Well, that's where your imbalance is gonna be, okay? So you're gonna put pictures that are more negative, like maybe they eat terribly. You're gonna put the foods that they eat right here because these are gonna be the more positive sides, okay? So everyone go ahead and open your computers, get logged in, and you can think about what you wanna do. If you wanna do a famous person, you can go ahead and get started on them. If you wanna do, and you can go ahead and get started on family too, or friends, um, you just might not have all the pictures you need. You might wanna like send a picture to yourself, your email, and go ahead and do that tonight. But this is due tomorrow. You have to share, just upload it on your canvas, make sure it's up on the canvas to turn in, okay? Um, can I see these people? I'm gonna talk to y'all real quick. Um, Elijah, Ariana, Brianna, um, Alexis, Levi, Jaden, Garen. Y'all go ahead and come, and Sarah. Y'all come up and talk to me for a second. All right, y'all are gonna have um, an extra day to turn it in. So go ahead and um, mark that these will be turned in on Wednesday for y'all. All right, so make sure that that's when y'all get this turned in, uploaded to Canvas. Um, okay, y'all go ahead and get started. I'm gonna give y'all the rest of the time today, and then um, y'all can finish it at home if you don't get it done. <laughs> 